Whether you write fantasy or you write sci-fi, you'll be world building. So here are some of the basics for you writers. Remember why you are world building. Yes, world building will give you a neat, interesting world to place your stories inside of. It will allow you to express all those ideas that are bouncing around your head. It will give deep, secondary, and tertiary meanings to your story. And maybe it will inspire a plot or solutions to a plot. But remember, it's that story and plot that you're telling that's the key to your work. After that, remember, build what you need. If your story occurs only in that empire on one corner of your world, you don't need to build the isolated kingdom on the other side. Or if your story only occurs in a small island on the world, build an island. That's where you need to start. You don't need to build the whole world yet. You can just use the physics of the real world, and maybe basics of the real world, and build from there just an island inside that world that your story occurs on. You don't need to reinvent physics to world build. Now remember, start from as far back as you need to, to place those ideas you have. If you're writing a story that occurs across the entire world, build that world. But if that world does not need to be different than Earth, well, build a world like Earth. The continents can be different, but the basic structure of that world, the size of it, how gravity works on it, the physics, that can all be about the same. You don't need to build what's already been built. Build what you need. Now, maybe you're struggling to come up with a world. Well, what are some interesting ideas you have? Do you think it would be interesting to have a world which has explanation to why it's like a video game? Why there's all these ancient ruins that were filled with artifacts that no one has collected and that people don't know about? Well, build a world around that. Maybe an asteroid impact destroyed ancient civilization and now humanity is just rising back up from the ashes. And so they have to retrieve what was lost. Or maybe in your world there were animal slaves that your societies use that rose up in rebellion at the same time of great famine because of drought and at a time of a great volcanic eruption that collapsed all of civilization so that humans and those animals that are now free from slavery are now just rising back up to rebuild civilization and return to those ruined cities. Build from the ideas you have. After that, remember, while world building to key your writing, yes, you might not have enough to write that novel you want to write, but you can write short stories, and maybe writing those short stories will help you build your world. While world building, I started writing a short story because I couldn't work on my novel yet. I didn't fully understand my magic system. I still don't yet have it complete. But I figured out that point that my self-declared gods, the world of gods, the people who gain great power, how they gain that great power is by the stones that can draw in the magical energy from the spiritual realm, have been placed in them to replace the heart. So they have heart stones that supply their power, and that removing of those heart stones will kill them. They're not actually truly immortal. Also, writing while still world building will help you improve your writing, as you want your writing to be as good as possible. So, remember these things as you go about world building and writing. Like and subscribe.